I'm gonna make an egg white omelet with uh, broccoli, fresh broccoli or frozen, and zucchini. I just wanted to show you. I take I take the seeds out of the zucchini and dice it up, and you don't have to, but I just I don't want the moisture from the seeds. But it doesn't make a big deal of difference. And shredded the uh, the uh, cheddar cheese. It melts faster than if you diced it up. And just a little salt and pepper, olive oil or butter. First we're going to cook the vegetables. Let's get started. So I put the heat on moderate. I'm going to cook the broccoli. You don't have to cook it. You can uh, just throw it in, mix it up with the egg whites. But I like to have a little just a little bit softer, you know, al dente. And just put a little bit of salt and pepper. I keep this mix easier to, easier to use this than to take salt separate, pepper separate. And I'm going to cover this, let it cook for a few minutes, then I'm going to add the zucchini which will cook in about three seconds and then I'll make the omelet. So well, that's enough for the cooking of the broccoli. I'll throw the uh, zucchini in there, give it a stir. There's enough seasoning in there and I like to make a large omelet. That's why I'm putting so much of building it up with the vegetables. It'll look good on the plate. Four egg whites. It's not really a lot. Now I'll put the egg, turn the flame up as high as you can, because this doesn't take too long. Use a non-stick, push away. After this sets, lower the flame a little now. Take the cheese. Nice and slow. It's not easy to make an egg white omelet. The egg, the yellow, just <laughs> simplifies matters. When you're cooking, the egg white doesn't like to work the same way. So, give this a chance to settle. Put a lid on it. We don't want to cook it too, too much or else it's never going to fold over. Alright, we should be able to move this ever so easily. You really have to use a non-stick. Get under it. And once you can move it like so, okay. Now you just try to flip a little bit, pushing turning this like so, turn this part, get over there, cover it, let the cheese melt a little, low flame, 
We're not looking to make a crust on that. <clears throat> and then have your plate ready because you're going to turn it out onto the plate and then you put on the plate whatever else you're going to have with it. Sausage, bacon, grits, home fries, piece of lettuce and tomato. I'm just having a piece of toast. Almost there. I like to have that cheese nice and melted. So it doesn't take that long. Uh, the important things are having a good non-stick skillet. <clears throat> this one has been used about a thousand times already by multiple people. So when there's more than one person using it, you might have scratches in it because they're not paying attention to what utensils to use when you're using a non-stick like only plastic. Thank you very much. That's it. We're good enough. Let's see if it moves, which it will. Now, tilt, tilt both the pan and the plate, like so. And there's a nice egg white omelet, nice size, and just a couple of pieces of toast. Now we'll sit down and enjoy this. And uh, I hope you enjoy it too.